So the, uh, the weather warning in the past couple of days has been like snow. Yeah, I know. But that's moving fast. And um, we decided to come somewhere quite remote to get the snow, but also be parked up for a couple of days in case it's snow. So the route that comes in is literally 45 minutes of a single track road just takes you to nowhere. And we're here. You can't probably can't see it, but that thick cloud over there is snow. And it's moving really fast. About five minutes ago you can see the whole of the mountain range. And the rain's just started to come down. So we're hoping that that snow is coming over to see us. Because the temperature is dropping. So overnight it was about five degrees, four degrees feel how bitterly cold it is suddenly dropping. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty cool. That's turning to hail. Go on. That's hail. Yeah. See in a bit. I think this is one of my um, my fears of of living in a van, especially by yourself with Archie um, and something. It's not a case of getting ill; it's a case of getting injured. Is uh, an issue not only for me but for Archie as well. If he gets injured uh, and you're in somewhere quite remote. <laughs> like I am at this present moment in time. Like two days ago, just um, walking along towards the van, getting to, into the van and that, just I felt something pop in my left knee. Um, 
my left knee anyway as over the years I've had two anterior cruciate ligament reconstructions and I've had uh, orthoscopies or whatever they're called um, where I've had the cartilage repaired over the years so I've had kind of four intrusive operations into my knee and it's never been right after all those operations that's for sure so I've always had like a weakness to the knee <laughs> but I've always managed to continue and get on with life but two days ago just something just popped thankfully over the, the first night uh, I didn't take any painkillers or anything for it I had no swelling no major pain no bruising um, so it's led me to believe that I haven't any muscular damage or anything else like that I haven't snapped anything I don't think <laughs> Uh, I couldn't walk on it, that was the main thing, the pain was so intense I just could not walk, put pressure up on the joint. But this is the second day now and I'm hobbling, walking. Uh, the pain has eased, but if I do too much, standing up or walking around, then I'll be in a lot of pain later. But it's just one of my fears, basically. Like if I get injured and, and I'm quite remote, what do I do? How do I cope? I felt really sorry for Archie the other day because he was just stuck in the van and I couldn't, I could let him out. It was pitch black and I, I, all I had to do was hold on to the back of the van and let him run around. Uh, whereas now, I know I'm hobbling, but I'm, here he comes now. Come on then. He's having a good run around. This is what he needs. And the van is all the way over there. So, just getting a bit of exercise. So yeah, it's, it's one of my fears. Um, is, any, uh, is there anybody out there that um, has dealt with this type of thing or experienced something like this? I don't know, if you have, leave me a comment, let me know how you coped and dealt with stuff. Um, initially I did think about um, driving to a hospital but then it's like you're probably going to be sat around waiting for hours uh, at a hospital Archie's then going to have to be in the van I'm also going to have to try and find somewhere to park the van uh, and all that sort of stuff so I didn't bother I just sat and let time heal hopefully there is no major damage but we'll see but I'm very not confident on it because it, bending it freaking hurts just like that. But I do have Phil and Karen with me and they have helped out, which I'm eternally grateful for. But as I did say to them the other day, because they were like, well, just text us and we'll come around and let Archie out. You st if I was in the middle of nowhere, like if I was down in Romania, <coughs> and it was just me and Archie and something like this happened I would have to deal with this myself so like I've had to do I've had, I've let him out myself uh, I still get on and do stuff yesterday I drove and filled up with water and did my toilet waste hobbled around carrying it you've got to get on with it and I've had to drive as well uh, pushing on the clutch uh, is no issue the only issue I've got when I'm driving is being sat in a seating position for a couple of hours was really painful because there's no real way to move the leg but it is what it is so yeah that's my that's my fears that's one of the things I thought I'd like to talk about that um, and not a bad place to talk about it is it come on But when you look around, it's like nothing around. It's the beach. <laughs>
you happy? <laughs> Go on then. Go on then. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Some people wonder why I live in a van. <laughs> 